Hello everyone, this is Brian Chapagne. Uh, just a quick append to the epic 43 minute tutorial on creating characters and importing them into the game where you, I made out a huge skeleton and uh, attached to the biped and such. That process is for using stock id uh, characters and bringing them into the ga into the uh, editor into like 3D Max with the bones and then setting it up so that you can animate a character that's already made in the Doom world. Uh, but you don't need to do that for a custom character. We're going to uh, stick a biped inside of this viewport, make about that tall. We'll zoom in on that and uh, Alt W it. Turn on that, turn on that. We're going to just drop those, move them up a little bit. 50 and we'll go what 30 on the legs and good on that we can zoom up a bit we'll uh, make a line shoulders down here just make a quick body to put into the game I'm not going to bother chopping this one all up. I'm just going to draw the lines out, give it a walk cycle, and bring it in as per uh, what's necessary. Which isn't a whole heck of a lot that's necessary to make it happen. Yeah, we'll close the spline. Come on into here. Turn that into an editable mesh. Whoops, no we're not. We'll make a line come up here to E for extrude which disappeared on me up here don't move oh there we go okay let's go back to all W so I can see how much looks good W in this viewport move it up a bit and uh back to over here. Alt W. That's selected. We'll turn that into an editable mesh. Collapse all. We'll stick on the UV map. Collapse all. And um, now all that we need to do is create a single bone. We'll create that bone here. And get rid of that one that pops in at the end. And this bone here, we will call it origin and we will select biped 01 and we will link that to origin and now when we move the origin bone the whole biped moves so now with that we come back to the character itself and uh, add a skin to it and with the skin selected we have to add the bones so we're going to add all of them select and then we will uh, move this one and see what has and has not been captured so we will now uh, do some edit of the envelopes and we'll edit this one over here so that it gets the hand this one over here so it gets something and uh, not really sure which ones are where again. It doesn't really matter. It'll still work just fine. And we'll test to see that it's all fine. It's all connected up. Looks great. And come back into the front here. And actually, we'll click on this bone here, actually, no, the skin, and edit envelopes, and now we'll click on this one, and we're going to make ins its influence small, though we know anything. Uh, edit envelopes, we will add a walk cycle to it by clicking on the biped, coming up into here, footsteps, click here, make ten of them, okay and uh, assign the biped to the footsteps. We'll come on down here, rotate it around so we can see everything, and uh, 
with highlights, we should be able to walk it. Either looks good or it just stays behind. We will select off on the footsteps. Select the uh, <coughs> character itself, which is line 01. And we will run the script of <coughs> Durton's MD5 export and export it into here as uh, test, save, save. It's now writing it all up. And that's all done. We're done here. We can head over to the C drive. We want to get up to uh, 3D Max into uh, script first, where the two reside. We'll take them out of here. Cut. Head back over to here. Models. Bone test. I'll drop them into here. Paste. Uh, this bone test MD5 mesh already has a skin name on it, so we'll just grab it out of there. Control C. Open up this one. You can see it only has one shader that needs it because it says up here there's only one mesh. Yes, we will save that. This one here, I'm just going to rename Control C and delete it. Rename Control V, yes. Rename Control C and delete it. Rename Control V, yes. And <coughs> we're done. Coming into here, I already have the def written up, which tells the animation, funk animate, bone test, everything set up with that. That's what it looks like. And we have the material set up, models, and a texture. Just add it to a zip. We will call that bone test, say full path info. Need to finish. And we don't need this one because we're not using it, not using those two. Delete those out of there. On this, rename PK4. And take this into the Doom 3 folder, base, paste. Yes, overwrite it. Already drop it into a map. So we'll just go to the game and uh, check out the map. There's a walking character inside the game. Nice and easy. A lot easier than uh, having to make an entire bone set for this as a custom character. Bone sets again. Connecting that is just to use for uh, Doom 3 stock characters, but this is a custom one. All you need to do to add is a uh, origin bone. That's it. Have fun.